Okay, in this assignment, we are going to complete this assignment called, uh, this website called uh, Campus Travel. And uh, it's about a fictitious travel agency in Hawaii. Uh, they have offices around the state. They have agents assigned to those offices. And they book travel to destinations, such as Rome and Paris and so on. We have a spreadsheet. We're going to start with a spreadsheet that contains uh, four tables, and we're going to import those into uh, a MySQL database and uh, create some pages to be able to do updates and so on. So uh, let's, uh, I've got a website here, Richard H., and uh, I actually do not have anything on this website, and so I'm going to uh, start from scratch. I'm going to uh, log into my cPanel. And I'm going to install WordPress. So I scroll down to Software and Services and I click on Fantastical. And uh, on the left here, I'm going to select, let's see. logs and I'm going to scroll down to find uh, WordPress here we go click and this comes up uh, we see we're set up fine so let's uh, install a new copy and I'm uh, now normally you would just leave the directory field blank uh, because normally you would install WordPress in the web root directory. So when you go straight to your website, you hit your WordPress site. But in this case, I'm going to actually install it in a subdirectory. Uh, your assignment may uh, ask you to do that. So uh, there's, there's a couple of little extra things that I'd like to highlight if you should happen to uh, be in a subdirectory. So I'm going to type uh, my subdirectory. I'm going to type WordPress. And I'm going to make my username... Uh, let's see, I'm going to make my username the same as what my username is is for cPanel. For a password, I'm going to just type um, uh, password99. I would suggest you use a better password than that. My email address is and uh, title, I'm going to put um, Richard's Richard's cool website. We'll see if that apostrophe uh, is okay. And uh, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to click submit. And it gives us the details here. And uh, I can proceed. And it looks like it's installed. It's installed in this WordPress directory here. And uh, we're able to uh, go to it now. Let's look at it. I click here. And we see we're in WordPress here. And this is what it looks like. The apostrophe is fine. So we have WordPress installed.